am architect Antoine Geoffrey Koo. Um, I am a product of uh, University of San Agustin no? in 2000, batch 2006. I took the board exam in 2009 and passed, no? and now I'm here. I'm back here at my beloved university. Okay, so let me, let's talk about uh, architecture. Okay, so clear um, to start off, I always ask, no, why choose a career in the designs? Okay, before we go on to what architecture is, um, the, but the practice of architecture, we should know what the practice of architecture is not. Okay, so architecture is not all about drawings. Architecture is not all about designs. Architecture is not all about pretty 3D renderings, okay? This is an example of a rendering, 3D rendering, no? Uh, but rather, architecture is a marriage of skill plus training plus creativity. And an architect is in the service of his client, always. And architecture is problem solving, okay? Now, let's talk about the prime professional. The architect is the prime professional. What does this mean? Take a look at this hierarchy, okay? So this is the hierarchy of building construction. Now, as you can see on top is the owner, under the owner is and forever shall be the architect, okay? Because everything starts with the design and the plan. And under the architect are the other, the other um, uh, expertise, no, or other uh, is co in collaboration with other engineers. Now the architect needs to work with all of them to produce the project that the owner wants to do. And after the collaboration with all of these experts, you now go on to the building contractor, the site workers, and then finish off the project that the owner wants. So this is the hierarchy of building construction, which makes the architect as the prime professional. Okay, so going down. So what do we expect in the BS architecture program once you come in? Okay, so we have creativity exercises, design plates, Building technology and utility works, planning works, construction detailing, architectural theories, architectural history, professional practice, and engineering sciences. No? So this is a very detailed description of what you will be taking up once you will be joining uh, the Bachelor of Science in, in Architecture. No? We call them, uh, you call us a jack of all trades, no? a master of none. Okay, so this is an example of a uh, drawing that you produce no? for us uh, as professionals. This is a site plan. No? Notice how detailed it is. No? This is an example of a, a site development plan which the architect designs and it is incorporated with all the other duties of other professionals. This is uh, an elevation, no? looking at the front view, rear and uh, side views of a, build, of a proposed building. And notice here that you should know the materials and finishes of the house that you will be designing. Okay, not only that, you will be encountering doing sections also. The details of a section is very important as you will need to know what is inside the building and how things are connected with each other. Okay, so just because you think you are done with your works, it does not mean that you are done with your works. More often than not, ladies and gentlemen, we will be doing revisions or what we call markups. Okay, this is the duty of, a, of, the, of an architect. No, You do everything uh, the first time and then you repeat until you feel that it is perfect. More often than not, your first draft is not the best work and you will be repeating your works over and over again until you and your clients are satisfied. 
or in your case, you and your teachers, your professors are satisfied with your final work. Okay, take a look at that. You will be living with that uh, for five years and for the rest of your lives if you choose to join the profession of architecture. Okay, so after seven years, Yes, it's seven years because it's five years of this architecture course. Take note, we are the only five-year course in College of Technology. Other course, other programs has uh, gone, gone, got down to four years, but BS Architecture remained in five years, okay? But after five years, we are required by law to do apprenticeship, two years apprenticeship, and three to six months of review for the board exams, two days of board exams and congratulations, you are now an architect. And now you can repeat the process of what you have been doing in college. You will never be done with plates. No? That's the reality of being a professional in the field of architecture. Now, uh, the architect versus the architecture graduate. No? So what do you expect as a, in the career of architecture? So the architecture graduate can still go into the industry, no? Uh, in, what, uh, in what part of the industry, of course. Uh, the architecture graduate can become a draftsperson, a computer-aided design technician, a construction manager or supervisor, a construction safety officer, a building manager or design officers, or you can go into as a contractor. Now, the difference is the professional architect, the person who has secured his license uh, as a professional architect is qualified to do everything, no? And shall be known as the project architect. And by law, no, this is our law, RA 9266. Only duly licensed architects are allowed to sign architectural documents. Like I said, we are the prime professional. Everything starts with the architectural documents. Next, okay. Employed as an architect, okay? So, um, if you are aiming to be a professional architect and go abroad, there is a lot of potential no in earning in in earning a lot a, a lot in other countries of course no uh, for instance in southeast asia and the middle east it ranges from $3000 to $8000 a month no so that's equivalent to 105000 pesos to 280000 pesos per month no this is um singaporean dollar no okay Local national average is roughly lower. Well, it's lower, no? Uh, it's um, 29,000 to 50,000 pesos a month, okay? But of course, as a professional, you can always go into uh, government work. You now you can work for the government. And it is expected, not expected uh, to have a a salary that is increasing no? after you get promoted up to from architect one and up to architect five no uh, from a measly salary of 23,510 as a junior architect for newly board passers you can go up to a division chief or the position of a director as architect five and earn much more no? and finally um, you can venture into business process outsourcing, which is quite a new trend, no? Business process outsourcing is like a, how do you say this? You're like a OFW, but you're working locally here. You're working at, uh, in the Philippines, but you're earning uh, in dollars. Business process outsourcing will let you work uh, for foreigners uh, through the power of the internet. There are a lot of op options for us, I'm telling you. Okay, continuing on. Okay, so how much does our profession make? Okay, so 
um, a lot of our a lot of us to, going into the practice of architecture uh, tend to uh, go into um, design. Okay, so you work for yourself. You become a professional architect, and you work for yourself. And you gather, <coughs> excuse me, you gather clients and you gather projects. So what 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 can you expect here? So per contract, an architect can ask for at least eight percent to fifteen percent of the total construction cost. Okay, so the duties of which are the preparation of design documents the preparation of construction documents and site supervision. Okay, so how does this work? Say you have a two-story residence which costs at, uh, estimated at 4 million pesos and you negotiated 8% of the total cost. No? Your fee will be equivalent to 320,000 pesos, which will be divided in terms of the completion of the project. Hindi mo niya makwa in sigeda, no? It will be divided until matapos ang project. Okay, so of course, um, this uh, getting a project is a a very big thing, big deal for a professional ar architect. However, the responsibilities are also quite high. Okay, the architect is liable for his design for up to fifteen years. Okay. If anything happens to that project, you are responsible for it. All major responsibilities fall upon the architect of record. So you really need to think about it and uh, practice. Practice your profession at the utmost level. Okay, so let's talk about our facilities in University of San Agustin. Uh, hopefully, no, we are anticipating that we will be able to come back to school at uh, the um, new uh, on the new academic year, no, on August, you we will be doing blended learning. A portion of your classes will be uh, will be done here at school at last, no. So we look forward to that. That we will be able to teach you personally face to face again. Okay. So the University of San Agustin, the BS Architecture Program is almost level one in accreditation. We don't, we don't have the, the results yet, but we are anticipating that we have passed the accreditation. No? And our facilities are quite, uh, are quite uh, acceptable. No? We have new drafting rooms. It is well ventilated. It is well lighted. It is air conditioned. Okay. And it has a huge capacity. No? six drafting studios and uh, we we have new ones being constructed in counting okay of course now you have the usa botanical garden audiovisual rooms uh, bs architecture cad laboratories this is where we teach you how to develop uh, 3d renderings and um, the trend of which uh, doing Computer using computer aided design, no, which is now the trend. You are expected to know once you get into the industry. <clears throat> okay, so the, here's something to think about. No, uh, seven out of ten BS architecture students from the University of San Agustin are more likely to become professional architects. I'm confident to say that our graduates from BS architecture proceeds on to become architects. No. Uh, it has been like that since uh, for for several decades now. No? Uh, we have produced quality graduates who are practicing nationwide and even internationally. Okay, so I hope that uh, a lot of you will be joining us in the near future. Thank you very much.